Yo, it is a good YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new point guard eligible Dark Matter, Tracy McGrady. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload my team content every single day, more than anybody. Really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's check out this team at card at the point guard position. I think he's going to be awesome. I think his release might hold him back just a tiny bit. We'll see. His upper isn't great. And it's not great on any of his cards except for the GOAT card, which makes this team at kind of one of the less desirable GOAT drops, actually, to be honest. But 6'8 point guard is still going to be valuable. He's got exceptional animations. Appreciate my boy Dylan for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. And yeah, team at 6'8 at PG, 7'2 wingspan, 9 on offense and defense. Exceptional statistics across the board. He is elite at everything. And an exceptional looking card, pretty much, honestly, not going to play any different than what you would expect out of his 100 overall. I mean, perfect badges pretty much offensively and defensively. Anchor clamps, glove interceptor, up, up, pass, post, lockdown. Like, he's got all the defense, too. Fat suit, right to gripper, immovable enforcer, 94 feet. He's got all the key offensive badges, basically all the key defensive badges. He is just an exceptionally complete good card at the shooting or at the point guard position. But... <coughs> Excuse me. The one thing that I do think is going to hold this card back just a little bit is release. I just think his upper isn't very good. Now, he does have Jamal Murray behind the back. He does have Kimba escape. He's got six. There's no doubt about that. But his upper is not amazing. It's just not. And that's that is a fact. And I think while he is basically his hundred overall, I mean, at the point guard position, he is a great card. Let's not get that twisted in the slightest. He is one of the best point guards in the game. But normal fade instead of um like pro 2 or something could be a little bit better and while the sigs are just exceptional i, I don't know if i actually think his any slashing is going to be amazing too and again he's 6 8 like he's really good but where is he at the point guard position because i would comp say comparing him to i mean even the free west unsell that came out today that's an interesting discussion because i think that west is going to give you uh, as much or more defensively and player build wise and stuff like that and maybe uh, more against like bigs and stuff and may not be quite as good of a shot creator but release wise it's as good or better like i don't know honestly how i feel about this team act where he compares now he's one of the best point guards in the game there's no doubt about that and i think this card is very good but i do think this drop just because T Max Upper isn't quite as good this year as it's been in previous years, it, it kind of messes with what he is as a card just a little bit. Not really. He's still an amazing card. Let's not get that twisted. But I think it's just not quite as exceptional as what he's been the last few years. Um, I don't know. Regardless, he's going to be a dog. There's no doubt about it. PG T Mac can be one of the best point cards in the game. Let's hop into a game. See what Tracy can do. All right, hopping into this game. We're going up against a Diamond Kyrie user, but he actually like knows how to use it. It's kind of this is gonna be an interesting matchup. Let's see if he can do. I don't think Kyrie can do a thing on defense. I tried to dunk on him, and that was probably a bad idea because dunking on a player is hard to do. But we tried. Um, and let's see what we can do defensively first of all, because it looks like Diamond Kyrie. He's gonna try to go to work with some of Kyrie's shimmy shakes and stuff and step backs and stuff. Get a. Oh my goodness, he gets the scoop layup to go. Big Z should block that shot, but he doesn't. And um, we're down four nothing. Kyrie. And cooking my cooking my life, huh? Um, chill, yo. I'm, I'm like kind of boxed right now. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, same side has he good downhill drive. Get inside pump fake. Okay, he went up and he missed the dunk because he's tired. That's that's a pretty unfortunate start right there. Good steal. Let's go. Great play right there. Throw it up to Big Z. Big Z coast to coast. Kick, catch, shoot, fade. T Mac. I don't know about that fade decision, but. Okay, um, not not our best start to the game by any means. Uh, fade for me again, T Mac. That's a good, yo slightly on that as well. Really rough start. We'll be all right, I think. But this is definitely not how we want to start off this game by any means. Um, step out on here on Kyrie. He's gonna try to get to work. I see it. I'm gonna jump though. Good D. Give me that. Tracy McGrady is waiting on that ball, and he's going coast. That's clear path. I was gonna say. He is going to give me, that's a chance at a four or five point possession right here is what that is. If I make both free throws, which free throw at least on T-Mac is super easy. Yes, we start off this game rough, but we are going to, I mean, this dude's actually, he's out here cooking without a very good team. I'll give him credit. He's trying to, he's trying to hoop with his guy, Kyrie, I guess. Uh, but uh, we should, we should go to work here and just absolutely decimate this dude, to be honest. Stop. I mean, I wasn't quite open enough. My bad. Um, fat stop in front of him. Kick it over here. Obviously he'll jump, catch, shoot. T-Mac for three. That should be green, and it is. Beautiful stuff. Missed a couple fades early in the game. Not exceptional defense off the rip, but we are just fine. Um, that's my steal if he throws it. He does not. That's fine. Cut off the dribble drive. He's got 100 overall JB out here, which makes me wonder, why are you using Alonzo Mourning and Shaq? Like, what is... If he's got 100 overall JB, that means he's got actual cards on his team. I don't understand why he's using Kyrie. 
the scoop layup again just beats me off the dribble there. That's annoying. Uh, this dude's hooping out the season one card, man. I, I got to give credit. He's out here trying to trying to go to work with his guy. So I, I got to respect that. Hop step through again. Kick to the corner. I don't know why you're leaving the corner wide open. We'll take our assist. Good pass. Good stuff. T Mac. I'm not shooting the ball well right now, and I'm not creating the space or dribbling all that well that I'd like to be, but um, he's looking super, super solid right now. Stay in front. Good defense. Watch the three-point play. It is a three-point play. Did that? What the? He totally misdirectioned me with that play somehow. I don't even know how that happened. It was like he was coming off the screen up, and then he relocated to the corner. That was really well played. 2K, does, I don't know how they designed that, but it worked out really well for him. Uh, we're going to see if we can use a screen here and uh, slip the screen. Good pass. Good dunk. We'll take it. It's a good quick slip there. Just didn't really get into the screen at all. Um, he didn't get Kyrie into the screen there, so we'll just take our slip, take our assist. We're up to 5-1-2 one, and two, uh, with two minutes left, so an opportunity to definitely keep extending the lead. Um, go get that ball, T-Mac. Oh, my goodness. Good defense. I used the... Using that glove and that right stick grip or try. Oh, they gave me the stop. I don't think that should be my ball. It looked like I punched that ball out. Um, but hey, I I'll take it, I guess. Uh, right stick gripper and glove doing cheesy BS that it's not really supposed to do. Hit our pop again. Catch. Shoot. The playmaking is there, man. He's got the SIGs. We're starting to see T Mac go to work. Yes, we've been struggling to start off this game, and I'm not playing great. And my opponents. Kind of open. I'll give him credit. Despite his team underpoweredness, I wasn't even actually going to showcase this game. And then I saw him come out and cook me on the first position. I was like, hold on. This might actually be an interesting-ish matchup, even with his team not being very good. But it looks like our team's just too good to compete, to be completely honest. And T-Mac is really starting to get it going after what would be a kind of considered a rough-ish start. It is starting to definitely be a lot less rough. And I'm not going to lie, his SIGs are looking a little... He's looking a little lost SIGs-wise right now. Not creating much. And okay, that's just... What are you even going to do, to be honest? T-Mac, all the... Okay, I'll take the pull-up midi, I guess. I was trying to fade. I mean, I was trying to dunk the ball, but I'll take the pull-up. And this dude, I mean, he put up a fight. He did. I will give him credit. He's down six now, though, and it looks like it's going to slip away. Um, he should probably come out here and maybe use a couple of more up-to-date cards, even if he's going to be out here hooping in an unorthodox play style with his guys. I mean, you could do a better job of it than this. There's a free Dark Matter Kyrie you can get from, from Challenges, for example. If you want to use Kyrie, go get that card. Like, come on. Season 1 Kyrie is not the wave at this point. Pull up in his face. I don't care. It's because that's Diamond Kyrie. If that's an elite-level defender with Hoff Challenger and stuff, that's not a green. So keep that in mind. But... T-Mac does kind of have a release that can be can be weird, and it can be tough to contest, and he is, I mean, he's starting to really dominate. I'm not going to lie, and like I said, I don't love, love the upper, but what he is doing right now is very impressive. That was not as good of a shot. Uh, he manually contested well there. That was a good job by me. I just did a good job. It's not that the release is uncontestable at all. It's just that sometimes you'll get a little bit less of a contest than you think in certain slots with him, and that's something that a lot of park players use T-Mac's base, albeit with a much better upper in Oscar upper, which is actually what they gave his GOAT card, of course, but not this card, and there you go. You see it right there. Release is just, actually, that's a slightly late. I was going to blame the release because I thought that was slightly early and I thought it got held, but maybe not. I don't know. His release is good. Maybe I'm just making excuses. I don't know. It's possible. Trey Wall, let's go. T-Mac drills the four-pointer. Nice use of the Jamal Murray behind the back. 22 to 9. I mean, this game turned into the blowout that it was supposed to be. That 100% did happen. Although I will give this dude credit because he put up a fight for a while. 14, 1, and 3. 4 of 10, 3 of 6, and 3. My efficiency wasn't great. Missed multiple fades to start the game, all that type of stuff. But he's a really good card. He's a great playmaker. He's got great sigs. He does everything well at the point guard position and he's one of the better gambling point guards in the game for sure no doubt about it t-mac is a really really good card um if you get lucky enough to pull him with that being said not at all worth gambling for this whole drop is just not a drop that even if you are out here trying to be a gambler which i think you should never spend money on this game but it's not a drop to spend money on by any means so hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace